I've had more than one subscriber ask me within the last two months what it means if they dream about cheating on their significant other or their current partner. And the truth is it can mean a lot of things. They jump to the conclusion that it makes them feel like something's going on, maybe they're not as committed, or maybe they want to cheat on their partner or their partner has cheated on them. Although all those things are possibilities, there's a lot of psychological subconscious things that are going on when you dream about anything, especially cheating on a partner. For example, it can just mean a change in a relationship or you're afraid of losing them. I have some ideas of possible um, reasons that you would have that dream. And if you're feeling really anxious about it, or maybe you're on the brink of trying to decide if you're going to get engaged or take this relationship farther, I think these things may minimize your anxiety and make you feel a little bit better. If nothing else, they'll open up a communication for you and your partner, which is, I think, the bottom line anyway. You have to talk about it with your partner when you have this dream to kind of sort out what's going on in your life. The first one is there's something you're ashamed of or hiding from your partner in real life. If you're, if you're hiding something or something you're embarrassed about or don't want your partner to know about, your mind construes that to be a betrayal. And many times when your defenses are down, when you're sleeping, when you're not, you know, fighting back or your ego's not in control, you'll accept this thing, these ideas that you're betraying your partner, and it will come across as a cheating, as doing something really bad to your partner or hurtful. Um, remember that whenever you have a dream about cheating on your partner, it doesn't, these, these can be sexual, these can be financial, these can be emotional. And so it's important too that you keep an open mind and kind of go through that dream and try to find the aspects of that that fit your situation. Number two, you're feeling guilty about something. Maybe you've been talking a little too close to someone or you've gotten in, in deep it, with a relationship that is much more emotional and it's still friends, but it's right on the brink. Or maybe in your past, you weren't exactly honest about an ex with your partner. All of these things can make you dream of betraying your partner because in a sense, when you walk around during the day, you have good defenses. You can kind of rationalize things, but at night you can't. And so once again, that could be the culprit. What you should do is try to get introspective with it. Talk to your partner about it. If there's something you're feeling guilty and you feel like you can trust them, I think this would be a really good idea. I'll bet the dreams would go away. You're giving too much time and attention to something or someone else. When you prioritize something other than the relationship, it can feel like a betrayal to your partner. During the day, it's very important that you're logical and you think about these things and you dismiss them. But at night, again, it's going to come across as a cheating, as some kind of a betrayal. And as I said earlier, it may not be sexual. It might not have anything to do with physical infidelity, but it might be infidelity of another sort. It could be your job or your family that you're much more preoccupied with. Once again, that's sort of a betrayal on your partner's part, especially if they're prioritizing you. I think what you should really do is that you should block out time on your schedule for your partner. You should try to have more fun with them. You should try to spend more time with them. You should tell them outright that you've been feeling a little bad, like like you're not giving them enough of your attention, and then ask them how they feel about that because that will certainly be very important. Your partner feels insecure in the relationship. If your partner feels insecure in the relationship, usually what's going on is you start feeling more of the power. Maybe you're taking on more of a imbalance in the relationship. You're assuming more control. And in a dream, that can, that can come across as that you're cheating on them. So if you do feel like this is part of it, that your partner's more insecure, 
would be really helpful. If you start reassuring them, start telling them all the things you love about them, what makes them so special to you. I think the more they're reassured, the less insecure they feel, the more secure and the less dreams you're going to have about cheating on them at night. A part of you is looking for extra fun. It is true, sometimes relationships get into a lull and they can get routine and boring. If you're bored with your life, you're going to start dreaming about doing other things, maybe illicit things, maybe things that normally you would never think about. Now all of a sudden you're seeing it played out in your dream. Get in touch with that boredom. Are you expecting your partner to entertain you? Do you feel like your relationship is in a rut? Are you guys going different directions? Do you want different things? All of this can really lead to an incredibly wonderful, intimate conversation. And if you're bored, don't sit in the boredom because we do know that when people are bored, they usually look for something else to stimulate them. And that can be another person, another emotional attachment, another physical attachment. You want to get close to someone your partner is close to. Sometimes if you feel like your partner's close to someone and they're excluding you, you will feel revengeful or you'll feel resentful. And at night when you're sleeping, part of your way of working that out may be getting back at them. And so you would dream about cheating on them. I know this sounds kind of far-fetched even listening to it, but believe me, it has happened to more than one of my clients, so I'm bringing it up to you. What will be much better is if you talk to your partner and say, hey, listen, I see you're really close to this friend and I just want to be included. I want to feel like they like me too, that they see us together. I mean, you can still be their best friend, but I want them to respect and honor me too. When your partner knows this, they'll probably go out of their way to try and bring you in, include you in the get-togethers, and for sure, any posting they're doing on social media. You feel physically attracted to someone else. So this would be the more logical part of the dream, that during the day, you know you're physically attracted to them, but you would never do anything. When your defenses are down and you're sleeping, that may be a very suppressed fantasy you have. Nothing wrong with that, but I would tell my partner about that because I think if your partner knows how you feel about this person, maybe this is someone for the survival of your relationship. The two of you need to work together to build better boundaries. It can be a lesson in coming together to creating a strong relationship. Instead of posting stories you do on Facebook, you can always include your partner. Maybe it just means that you need each other to really make each other feel significant. A lot of times in relationships, one of the partners doesn't feel significant. And so they start looking at other people, finding other people attractive. And they use that fantasy in their own mind during sex or just during daydreaming time. That's fine, it's normal. But at the same time, if it's someone you both know, then I think it's worth your while to talk to your partner about that and maybe um, maybe come together and make it a goal to make your boundaries stronger together. There are some qualities you wish your partner had, but they don't. Now, I think every normal, healthy relationship has things about their partner they wish they had, but they don't, and they don't necessarily dream about cheating on them. However, someone who dreams about cheating on their partner often came from a home where one of the parents cheated on the other one. And so it makes it a more accessible dream to have, like it's more of a reality. And so if you think about it in that context, if your partner's doing something that is hurtful to you, or really you just aren't, you aren't happy, you're not respectful of it, it's gonna be especially important for those of you who have come from parents who cheated on each other to actually talk about it. Because the one thing we know is you can cheat proof your relationship if you can talk together and resolve the really tough issues. Most of the time, those issues are not mentioned. 
in lieu of hurting their partner's feelings or just bringing up something that you're going to fight about, whatever. But it's important if you're going to create something awesome together that you need to address those tough topics. And lastly, you may not be entirely averse to the idea of an open relationship. I've seen a lot of couples who have wanted to try having a third party. I don't recommend that. I don't think it's a wise um, solution to a healthy monogamous relationship. However, I'm just saying that if you have those feelings and you're suppressing them during the day, they oftentimes come out in dreams, dreams of cheating on a partner at night. Could it be a warning? It could all be a warning. All these dreams can be a warning. But what's most important is that you focus on what emotions you felt during the dream and that you feel like you question yourself. Would this cause me dread? Would this make my life better? Is there something I'm feeling trapped with, with my current partner? And do you think your life would be better if you were not with this partner? Sometimes when we have dreams like this, it's just the gut feeling. You've denied everything else, every other warning flag. So finally, your gut gets in the, in the mix and it starts making you have these terrible feelings like, you're cheating on your partner with someone else. That would be like a last ditch effort. Maybe you're on the brink of an engagement or a marriage and your parents, your friends, everybody have told you this is not the person, but you've gone ahead with it anyway. These dreams could symbolically tell you, you better postpone this idea. You better think about this. You better talk to a therapist because these feelings could be a lifesaver as far as who you choose to be your partner for the rest of your life.